Okay, everybody. Hello. Um, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Frankie. Um, I am from MacArthur, Ohio. A very small, little, tiny little town. Um, um, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know a little about me. Um, I just want to kind of get it out there and tell a little, tell my some part of my life story. Um, um, I have suffered through morbid obesity for all my life, except for in 2011 on April the 4th, and I decided to have weight loss surgery. Um, I did pretty good for a little while, then I got really, really sick. And there was times that it was just really bad. Um, I lost weight quickly. I became very weak. Wasn't able to walk. So I ended up having to go into a rehab facility and get physical therapy. Um, spent about six months there in rehab. Got out January 3rd, 2012. And I did really good for a while. Um, but, you know, everything's not always perfect in your life. Um, I had a lot of surgeries in between um, there, in between um, times, between 2015 to the present. Um, I've had um, a couple um, female um surgeries I had both my knees replaced I had reconstructive surgery and the mass removed after my left foot um, I had um, in 2015 I um, was in a severe car accident and severely broke my leg and um, I was on 100% bed rest, which means I had to go back into rehab facility because I had to be lifted in and out of the out of the lead with a um, with a lift. Um, I had a metal fixator on my leg. Um, it was this big, huge thing, and I had these pins going in my ankle, um, in the top of my right below my knee. And what it did was support the fracture until the swelling would go down and they could go in and repair the fracture with metal plates and screws. So about three weeks later, um, they went in, took the metal fixator off and went in and put the, put the, the plate and the metal screws in there and fixed the fracture. So then I was still on bed rest. Um, I couldn't, the accident was in February, and I went from February clear to, I think, end of April. I wasn't able to put any weight on my foot at all, not even any kind of pressure. So, um, eventually everything got better, um. But I always had problems with it after that. It would swell. I couldn't walk on it hardly. Um, three years out, I still had so much problems with it. Swelling, um, discoloration of my skin. And, I mean, just constant pain. I mean, I couldn't stand on my foot, my leg for over, um, within 30 minutes, my foot would swell up the size of a golf ball or bigger. So, I was like, well, I'm going to get a second opinion on this, and eventually I did, and um, they said the only thing we could do was go in and remove the metal plate and see if that would stop, because they were thinking that the metal plate, that my body was rejecting it, and that's what was causing the problems because of the rejection of the metal plate causing the arthritis to inflame. 
so I had that surgery and um so that took forever um I had that in September of 2018 and um they went in and they knew that it was a risky surgery at first they knew it was going to be risky because of because the way my leg was um so uh the surgeon said you know this is going to take me 30 minutes to go in and get it done and we'll be out and you'll be fine um 30 minute surgery ended up being a three and a half hour surgery um, the metal plate was broken and the screws were stripped and some of the screws he couldn't even get out so and then it took about seven months to heal fully um the the um the incision busted open about three or four about th about four weeks after the sur first surgery um, infection set in so I had to go back in get a, another surgery to remove all the infection and get it cleaned up and then the healing process started so so finally after about seven months it finally healed and I was released so meantime all that time unfortunately I got depressed Depression left it into eating um, badly, um, drinking pop again. I am a popaholic, which means just like a an alcoholic, a drug addict. I am addicted to soda pop. And so, I put in, I put, I put all my weight back on, sad boy. Um, also, because of the surgeries and being down and not being able to exercise and eating right. And also, being depressed, not eating right, not taking my medication right. Um, becoming lazy. And, um, plus being, having polycystic ovarian, which makes you insulin resistant, which your body produces too much insulin, which re in turn puts, um, takes the extra insulin and puts and stores it as fat. So with all that against me, I am now back up to being very overweight, over obese. Morbidly obese is the correct term. Um, I'm not back at my full weight that I was in, in 2011. I was 500 pounds when I had the surgery. At surgery weight, I was 500 pounds. And um, after surgery, my lowest weight was 218. And then after I hit 218, I started gaining weight. Which I am so ashamed of myself. And I'll be the first one to tell you. I don't take pictures of myself except for my face. Um, I just, I, I'm just totally embarrassed and ashamed of myself. I'm supposed to see my surgeon every year. I won't go see him because I'm embarrassed. Because I don't want him to see me at this weight that I gained it all back. And so... Which I am glad that I haven't went back to being um, so depressed that I did what I used I did in 2008 through 2012, which I had issues with suicidal attempts at four in between those times. But luckily, um, I have a great doctor, or well, my first doctor, he was a great doctor, but unfortunately... He passed away with um, prostate, I mean, not prostate, but uh, pancreatic cancer. He was gone. He found out, and then within, like, a month, he was dead. Greatest man on earth. Oh, the man in my life. He saved me. Honestly, the man saved me. 
and um so so i hope one day you know his kids you know knew find out how good gray of a man their dad was if they don't know he had he had real young children he had he had three biologic and had one stepson and someday i just i hope that they find out how great of a dad they had because he was a a great dad, a great person so anyway i just kind of i'm having a bad hair day so i'm i do apologize i gotta get it cut um um so i just want to kind of tell you about you know suicidal thoughts temps um you know you're you're if you have those thoughts you're not the only one out there trust me you're not um i know it might be painful hurtful you're going through a lot you don't know where to turn but please call the suicidal hotline go to your emergency room um call your mom call your dad call your grandma call your grandpa call your sister brother best friend boyfriend reach out and tell people hey i have this issue because the only person that you're going to hurt is your family. And they're the only ones that are going to be left without the reason why. And so I'm just glad that I grace the grace of God that he didn't want me. And that he knew my job wasn't done. And he didn't take me. He wants me to do something don't know what it is trying to find that that path so i thought well maybe social media maybe i need to reach out to somebody i don't know so this is where we're going um i just want people to understand you know when you see somebody more really obese you see somebody with a disability you see somebody with autism you see um somebody that you know may have a tumor or you know little a, a, a person that has no hair because of the chemo and, and radiation. Um, you see a little girl wearing glasses or braces on her teeth. A little boy that's going through being transgender. Or a little girl going through being transgender or even gay, lesbian. You know. Everybody's different. That makes That's what makes the world so great. Is because everybody's different um, you know being short tall fat skinny blue yellow green you know everybody's different for a reason and um, but making fun of somebody just because of their difference doesn't help them bullying them instead of being a bully or you know why are they like that? Go up and talk to the person. Say, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of interested. You know, why are you the way you are? You know, ask questions. And, you know, 99% of the time, people will tell you, well, I have autism, or I have a, a mental disorder, or I have morbidly obesity, or, you know, this is the reason why I'm different. And, um, the only way we can stop ignorance is education. And that's the only way we can stop, you know. So, I just kind of wanted to kind of touch on a couple of these subjects, you know. You know, I've been trying to start losing weight again, which I have, because I was clear up to, like, 460 degrees pounds in like what was it September of 2018 and I've lost a good quite a bit actually um because now I'm down to like 417 um they had found a couple found found a, another issue with me 
um, my thyroid has been giving me lots of problems. And um, they put me on, my doctor put me on some medicine. And it's really helped a lot. And uh, so I'm starting to try to get my body, you know, back to start exercising again. And, and you know, trying to start eating different. And, you know, I'm really, you know, really going to get onto this. Because I really don't want to be this way. I honestly don't. I mean, it makes me who I am. I'm a friendly, bubbly person. Um, I'll do anything for anybody. But, you know, I don't want to be this way. Um, so the only thing I can do is change, change my eating habits, change my drinking habits, start doing what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, like I was in 2011. So, um, but my thing is, I just want to give you guys a, a heads up, you know, if you see somebody trying or you see somebody, you know, you know, just encourage them, you encourage them to be who they want to be. If they're, you know, if they're overweight and they want to lose weight, you know, hey, I'll be there for you. Um, do you want me to take a walk with you? Do you want me to come and uh, do Zumba or dance or, you know, you know, I'll be right there for you. Um, you know, don't make fun of somebody for starting to try. Because last year I started trying and... Um, it was so sad because I had adults making fun of me because I was taking a walk around my complex to start building up stamina to start walking longer distances. Because, I mean, you got to once, you know, when you're so this big like I am right now, you can't just walk three miles you can't do it so you know you have to build yourself up and start you know small and just build yourself up gradually and then eventually you know you can make your you know your couple blocks to four blocks you can make your four blocks into ten blocks your ten blocks into a mile your mile into two miles you know you see where i'm going Instead of making fun of that person, encourage them. Join them. I mean, everybody can benefit from exercise. Everybody. I don't care if you're the fittest person or anything. Exercise is great for you. It makes you, it gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. So, and, um, um, I'm on Facebook Instagram, YouTube, and um, like I said, my name's Frankie, and if you want to reach out, you know, reach out to me. I don't care. I'll answer your questions. I'll, you know, explain things. Now, if you want to be a hater, be a hater at a distance. You know, I'm not here for negativity. I don't, I'll delete it anyway. If you make me mad, I'll just delete you. I don't, I mean, that's just, that's easy. But I want people to be supportive. That's what I want my channel, my social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my YouTube channel. I want to be inspirational. So if you're thinking about weight loss surgery or you just, um, you are depressed and just need somebody to give you some encouragement or, you know, where to go, what to do, you know, I'm here. So... I just want to kind of base on a couple little things, you know. Um, I have chan I have my U my YouTube channel, most of it's um, videos of Annie and Lucy, my two dogs. Um, mostly Lucy because she's the crazy one and she does all kinds of funny things and I, that's who I catch most of the time. Annie hides when I bring out the camera, so. Um, but anyway, if you need any information or just want to become friends um my facebook is frankie while frankie and at while at facebook uh instagram's country chick usa or i think you can look it up as frankie too i'm not for sure but i know it's country chick usa youtube it's also country chick usa um so yeah if you guys need anything or just want to you know, i just want to kind of touch on a few things so 
Um, so I'm trying to make my video it's under 20 minutes so I'm getting right there at the 20 minute mark so I'm going to jet off here and if you guys have any questions give me a give me a shout out um, subscribe su subscribe follow you know give me a thumbs up thumbs down you know so have a good one